This is Twit. So, Jason, you got to try them Hi. on. In fact, your Six Colors article, Eyes and Head On. Get it? Uh, 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 with the yep. apple. <laughs> I took it head on. Did took it right in the forehead. I, I could never get it to fit exactly right. I came out of there feeling like I was... Uh, uh, really? It didn't sit, brow. sit I nicely get it. on your face. I couldn't get it. I mean that that's happened with other VR headsets I've tried, mm. and they've got they they made the claim that they've got this one piece that fits the light shield that is like they're gonna be a lot of sizes of them, but they didn't have that many sizes of them. Right. For whatever reason, I could never I really thought, get comfortable and, and with it. Didn't they and, say they were gonna scan your head and then Oh yeah, they did. Create they did, a but, custom. But, but it, like if their plan is to have 15 sizes or 12 sizes at launch and they've only got four now, right, right. then they scan my face, which they did do very much like Face ID. And then I guess they looked at it and said, wow, Can't I don't know what to you. do here. Just <laughs> stick Bob, stick uh, the medium on hey, and we'll yeah. see what happens. We got Jason Neanderthal Snell over here. Yep. You got any beetle brow uh, face masks? There, there's also something interesting that someone on social media pointed out that I missed in the keynote. Some of like the canned, like the canned, like fake living room uh, videos, they had like a, a strap over top the strap. top of their head. Yeah, we all had that. We never talked about. You all had that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It was a Velcro top strap to help with you know help with stabilization. Keeps the weight off and too. carrying the yeah, carrying yeah. the weight across yeah. your whole head okay. and and yeah, they did have that and and uh, it I was nice. Why they didn't all the materials. That. You you will be surprised. I don't know why. Uh, it's who knows. They, you will be surprised to hear that the materials made in the headband and the strap <laughs> are of the highest quality. They're very very well made. Made with the uh, best because it's Apple lint of course from the finest. Fine Corinthian leather, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, Oculus Pro or whatever they call it, Meta Quest Pro, Quest Pro uh, yeah. has an optional uh, top strap, and I actually don't use it, uh, but I don't wear it for very long. So I think for le mm. lengthy periods of time, you might want to have that yeah. top strap. So that's not an option. That's something that comes with. It sounds like I think so. We don't I know. Think so yeah, it's hard to know. But, but yeah, there's exactly. so much we don't know about this product. We only know what Apple wants us to know about this product, right. and <laughs> even barely that. I am. I am. Uh, I have a new bet that they will not ship it with spooky eyes, but I'm just, that's my, <laughs> my guess. That, that, is, would, that is, that is not a, that's, that is not a bad guess. I, yeah. don't, I don't, I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm just saying that that's, they got a lot of gambling. They got a lot riding on that. It's got to either work completely 100% non goofy or let's just wait for it. Yeah. And then it must add a little working, bit to right? the, those lenticular. Right. Uh, screens must add a bit to the bill of materials, and I'm sh I'm sure it does. I mean, it's very clever, and they, they've said like you know you can't just put a screen on it showing eyes because if you're off axis, it looks it looks like a screen <laughs> showing eyes, like they're following you or something. It's weird. So they did this lenticular thing, but I will say again. Nobody has seen that feature, right? It's yeah. in some of those videos. I'm uh, unclear oh. whether they actually are even there. You don't but see in, it in your room, demo. Mm -mm, nobody nope. saw it in person. Uh, I, the only the closest we got is that in the demo we did get a FaceTime call from somebody who was using a digital persona, Presum presumably the same technology that creates the digital persona face creates the little eye yeah. area that gets put on that display. Because those eyes aren't um, um, aren't a picture of your eyes; they're a digital persona of your eyes. Yeah, they're well. I mean, they're taking picture of your expressions from your eyes. Uh, and using it to do it, but I, it's not a one to one. They're, in the, they're in the memoji that. fashion. Yeah, in a high, think of a very, very high res memoji. Although I'll right. say, like, I, I had a very positive experience with the headset. I think that as a piece of technology, the Vision Pro is remarkable. Um, and that's the combination, the Apple combination of the hardware and the software. Incredibly impressive piece of technology. However, and we can talk about it or not, whatever you like, but I will say the one place where I went, whoa, now. <laughs> was the digital persona which <laughs> during the during the keynote i read it i was i was more optimistic than some of the people around me i was sort of like it might be okay and other people were like oh hell no basically and then i i saw it in the demo uh and i was like oh no 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 it, it is it is the uncanniest of valleys it is uh you know the the person i was talking to made a facial expression and i was like no no you are you know no well, it's interesting because satan away they made, they made an interesting choice with facetime <laughs> That FaceTime would not be uh, a legless, immersive experience, in the, as in the Meta uh, experience. Uh, it would be a FaceTime with a screen, but then they still have this issue with there's no camera on you, well, so they have to fake right. you, and the fake you it sounds right. like is not very good. I'm gonna say also, this: this really strikes me as a concept car. You know how in, yes. in at Detroit Auto Show they show this car that you go, that's a 
wonderful, but it never ships. And I think this is their concept car. And you now explain to me why we never saw anybody, Tim Cook on down, wearing these. Because no, because that feature doesn't even... The spooky yeah. eyes weren't there. It, I wonder if it the doesn't, spooky eyes... It doesn't eyes work were, yet. Yeah. I don't... I mean, you're right. I think you're right. I think the question is... You know how committed are they to this hardware being final? They may be across that line, but but you're right in spirit because a lot of the stuff that's in here is very much beholden to Apple's concept of what this thing is, right? So the eyes are there, the eyesight thing is there because Apple is trying to send the message that they want you present in the world, that this is an AR product and that, that if you can see out, people can see in, right? And, and that the, it's an indicator that they can see you and like, I get it. I get it entirely from a philosophical point of view, but I have with some of these features, I wonder FaceTime is like this too. I wonder whether at some point the initial philosophy will get overridden by user reaction and they'll realize, Oh, like the dogma we went into when we designed this product is actually not how users feel. And then they change the product. It may be too late for this one, but I, that's undoubtedly going to happen. I think the FaceTime in a window is a great example of that where I'm actually not convinced that that's the only way they're going to do FaceTime. I'm convinced that's the only way they wanted to show FaceTime last week. Right. Cause we're talking about <laughs> a lot of time here. There are so many things that I'm sure that they have very carefully omitted entirely because either they're not ready to show them or they don't want people talking about them when they when they're talking about this product and you know they've got this is unusual for apple in that they've got you know six plus months of runway here so that they can be very picky in what they disclose now versus in six months i think i think it's the least compelling thing that they showed there and the most absurd like it, it and it and it it's not like i think there's a lot of things about the vision headset that work uh, the moment I even saw it in the keynote, I was like, oh, it's going to be a bad idea. <laughs> like, that's gonna, <laughs> like that is going to really, it's, 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 it was like Polar Express, you know, and, um, you know, it was about, about the Polar Express level. And, and I think that they just, it's so hard to do. I thought, I really thought that they were going to use Memojis. Like I thought that Memojis was the answer to that. That's why they mm -hmm. had us all building them. That's why they got it. And I bet you that there's going to be an option. To I'm sure. Memoji. Yeah. And everyone's just going to go to, I'm just going to use my Memoji and we're yeah. all going to be fine. And because nope. everything about Memoji works. Yeah, they're that. just too proud of this. And so they don't want you to think about Memoji because yeah. that, that's like the fallback. They're so proud of this thing. And I think either it's going to have to get a lot better or they're going to have to just say, well, yeah, it's if you if you find this uncanny, you can just use your Memoji, yeah. Yeah. which is, you know, because all the Memoji it, is also reading your face and generating a facial yeah. expression based on it. It's just much less of an attempt for it to the, be real. By lowering that resolution and making it not look exactly like you, you bought your mind immediately. It's why in right. why you watch a Pixar, as soon as you get to the point where you're real, the only, the only folks that have, the only person that has figured this out, in my opinion, is James Cameron and maybe Weta, <laughs> you know, in the world with millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars, they figured out how to get that to work. And not um, in real time. Right. And not in and, real time. Exactly. And, 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 it's the, and it's the yeah. famous, and it's the famous Scott McCloud, uh, understanding comics, like, uh, uh transition where it's like there's a point there's a point between absolutely abstract smiley face and absolutely photographically real where you're getting the best of both worlds where it's a cartoon version right. of somebody with just enough details you absolutely emotionally connect to it not so much that it has to be now spot on and i yeah. think that's yeah. i i got the i mean i got the impression from uh, that uh, from everybody's hands on experience that maybe apple's real goal this with that release excuse me with with that uh, demo with that uh, with that uh, thing was to make sure that the information comes back these displays are incredible i can read text at any size any distance the 3d effect is impeccable uh and not quite and also not quite so many people come back saying after half hour i got nauseous or i got headaches right. Because just just like with the Apple Watch, so long as they get the hardware right, they can they can build the software, they can fix the software, they can hold back software features until they're ready. But the thing that will cause this to be an absolute utter first day failure is if people put it on and say, "My God, this isn't nearly half as good as my five hundred dollar Quest. This isn't nearly. I don't. I'm not going to put this on for more. I'm going to. I can see under having this for games, but." The, the Apple thinks I'm going to use this as my 4K Mac monitor and use this like all afternoon. No way. Yeah, they want to dazzle you with their tech prowess, right? That's number one thing they're trying to do here is have everybody go, wow, look at Apple. They were capable of making this product, which, by the way, 
I admit to be dazzled, right? Like, I think yeah. this is an incredibly <laughs> impressive product. Let's separate. There are two stories here, right? There's will it sell and do people want it? And there's what is this product? And this product is amazing. It is an amazing work of technology and also of user interface. The software in it is incredible. But like what we got last week was one, Apple showing you their tech skills and doing this thing. And then all of us who tried it could see that it's got, it's incredibly, the refresh rate is amazing. It looks not like reality, but like very close to reality when you're using pass through mode, all that stuff is impressive. And then the other thing that we're trying to do is I think blunt criticism of the story that would be Apple wants to cut you off from the world. So so everything yeah. Apple did was like, no, no, we are being humane here. I, the word I keep coming back to is humane. It's like the headband is soft woven material. We can see your eyes when you can see us. We, you, everything is a default to AR, not VR. Everything defaults to you seeing everything around you. They had that ridiculous shot in the promo video where somebody is packing their suitcase while wearing the headset, <laughs> which is just like it's bananas, yes. but I know why it's there. They're, it's there because they want to say, look, you're in the world with this thing. And I think that literally was their number two goal with this product is to stop people from saying Apple wants you to put a thing on your face where you never see anybody ever again because they don't want to be seen as being kind of a detriment to society. And I think yeah. that that was what they were going for. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning provides world-class service from beginning to end of your training journey and beyond. Fortify your expertise with access to self-paced IT training videos, interactive practice labs, and certification practice tests. Individuals use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. 